In the currency quadrant, as we approach the New York close, taking a look at the June Canadian dollar future, which is going to finish the day up right around three quarters of 1%. Again, that's versus the New York session close. You look at the high up 1.27% at 73.38 half. We gave up about 50 basis points in toward that New York close. On the low today, was not a straight up day. Might have seemed that way. When you look at the chart, we were actually down a little bit more than a tenth of a percent at 76.67 half. The Canadian dollar is up for the first time in the last four sessions, um, including today's session in that four. Through yesterday, the Canadian dollar is down against the U.S. dollar from the 2022 high close through yesterday, down 4.25%, down from the 2022 high to the 2022 low, 4.97%. And even though today's move was good and welcome relief to the Canadian dollar longs, when you look at it on a weekly basis, today's rally included, the loonie is still working on its seven straight down week. So overall, the weakness versus the US dollar is there. Now looking at that, you might think a Canadian dollar has just been an incessantly weak currency, but it's been an outperformer versus some of the other majors. And when you look at it against, for example, the Euro, Canadian dollar is up four, five point two three percent When you look at it against the pound, 6.88%. Against the yen, the loonie is up 9.99%. It's up against the Aussie dollar, the New Zealand dollar, even the Swiss franc. The Canadian dollar is up 5.89% against the Swiss. So overall, the Canadian dollar has done well, just not against the U.S. dollar, which is what the futures are based on. Now, looking at Canadian bonds, it's part of the reason that the Canadian dollar has been rallying. The bond yields have been rallying just like they have been in the U.S. For example, the five-year bond auction from yesterday came in with a yield of 2.893%. The previous yield, 1.791%. So yields rising just like the U.S., but the yield differential and the central bank differential has kept the Canadian dollar weak against the U.S., which is why the future has been weak.